Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinker Tools. Tonight, we finally have our new Milwaukee sets in our possession. We'll do our unboxing and our first impressions of both the M12 and the M18 new kits. So let's get into that today on Tinker with Tools. All right, so as I mentioned, today we are gonna to be talking about the new Gen 4 Milwaukee M18 Fuel Hammer Drill and Impact Driver Kit, as well as the Gen 3 M12 Fuel Hammer Drill and Impact Driver Kit. So let's go ahead and get this big box out of our way, get it opened up. As you can see, the box is still sealed as well as it was when it arrived at my house. So let's go ahead and open it up, get it out of the way, and see what we have in these kits. All right, so first out of the box is the M12 kit. Comes just in a box. We do are gonna get a bag. We'll get into that in a minute. But that is typical for M12 fuel. All right, so there's nothing inherently wrong with this kit. I do, however, wish that they were would start putting some of these things in pack out cases. At this point, you're spending enough money Okay, so we're actually going to unbox first the M12 and then move on to this M18. The curse of the earth, the M12. I wish they would just include that, that entry level M18 charger as well. All right, so first off, first tool to pull out is the new M12 uh, fuel impact driver. Okay, so honestly, I mean, if maybe feels a little bit smaller, but overall pretty much the same size. I do really like the tri-beam. Um, it feels snappy, uh, but so does the, the previous generation. Okay, first impressions of the hammer drill and driver. Um, it is, it feels a lot more compact. Like I said, I'm really fighting the urge to go grab the one. Uh, everything feels quality there. If, if they made this tool more powerful, when we go to test it against the 12 volt from DeWalt, I think that'll be the true test to see if it can overcome it. Um, I mean, what can I say? It's a great tool. It was a great tool last generation. If they made it better, hopefully that's the case. The impact driver, like I said, it feels a little bit smaller, but my guess is it's going to be relatively similar in size. The, the LEDs up front are a nice touch. I never had any issues with the M12 impact driver, so I hope that's the case with this one as well. And now let's go ahead and get out the M18. Okay, so with these, you know, if I didn't know what I was looking at and I didn't see the little auto stop down here, I might be tempted just to sit there and say, this is the Gen 3 hammer drill. It really feels very similar. The impact driver, tri-beam LED. This one actually gets a, a little bit of bump in speed, but maintains the same torque in all honesty. Other than feeling brand new compared to my old slightly worn in impact driver, it really feels exactly the same. It's very familiar. Um, if you like the last one, you will probably like this one. And if you've never had a Milwaukee impact driver and you step up to this one, I think you're gonna be just fine with it as well. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do um, tonight, first impressions, we're just gonna be testing it with the batteries that come with it. For the M18, we're gonna be going with five amp hour batteries. For the M12, we'll be using a combination of the, of the two amp hour and the four amp hour. So let's go ahead and just get up a couple of quick tests set up. We'll give some first impressions, start getting these tools worn in, and then we'll go ahead and move on from there. All right, so first we're gonna be testing the M12 fuel impact driver. So first off, we are just going to drive just some um, simple deck screws. We are starting out with a fully charged two amp hour battery. So first impressions, it feels very familiar. The power feels very familiar. The light, the amount of light is very nice. The lack of a shadow. 
Uh, right off the bat, this is probably one of the smoothest collets um, that I've ever seen. Just starting with a four inch screw. Okay, so now let's go to a slightly bigger one. This is a five inch. So the light is definitely something that is standing out. You just see really well with that tri-beam. It's obviously something that's already been around in the market, but it's just nice to see them adding it to it. And then let's just go with a six inch timber lock. So there's your impact driver. Let's go ahead and see how the hammer drill does. The hammer drill, I believe saw a decent increase in power and obviously decreasing in size. This almost feels as peppy as some of the 18 volt drills that I've tested. With this one, let's go ahead and drive in a five inch power lag. So you did hear it kind of drop down in speed there as we got going. You know, that's not a small fastener. Now we are just gonna go straight to the biggest uh, timber lock that I have. This is an eight inch timber lock. The fact that we just did that in speed two, now I'm really curious. I wanna do the head to heads tonight, but I'm not going to for time's sake. Earlier this year, I said that the new DeWalt 8 DCD 800 was my favorite drill of the year. Uh, this is putting itself right in contention just with those two lags. So now we are gonna go and just do some quick test with the M18 fuel impact driver. I've seen this tool getting a lot of grief uh, in social media posts and different things because it's not faster than the prior generation. Uh, in my testing, they still had either the top or one of the top two impact drivers um, on the market in terms of speed and power. And so they, this generation maybe didn't need huge improvements, but we did see some. So this is now the five inch spec. Let's go ahead and drive a six inch specs. Um, if we go over to a power lag here. And then let's do our eight inch timber lock. If I'm being honest with you, I didn't even notice the light as much on this one. And so more of what I'm focused on is just the fact that it still is a good impact driver. It feels very familiar. So, and then with this tool, if I'm being honest, it honestly feels like the other. Um, the auto stop is obviously there. And that is something that was not on the prior tool. All right, we're gonna try and fit in some drilling tests in between the holes that are already making this board like Swiss cheese. This is just a half inch twist bit. Now we are stepping up to a three quarter inch self-feeding Diablo Speed Demon. To my knowledge, there is no anti-kickback control. So I'm not gonna go much above a one inch uh, self-feeding auger bit. So far of the four tools we've tested tonight. This is the one that is impressing me the most. All right, so we're switching out to this spider uh, inch bit. And it just plows through it. Obviously the M18 is on a different power level than what we would expect or see from the smaller M12. All right, here is an inch and a quarter, still in speed two. This is one of the Irwin bits. For its second hole ever, plowing through that, highly impressive. Okay, we are gonna cut the testing short a little bit tonight. Let's go ahead and get to our conclusions and we'll kind of go over the different tools and I'll tell you what I think. All right, so first impressions, let's see where we're at. Well, if I wanna start with the M18 kit, I would say my impressions are that this is a very small improvement over what we saw with the Gen 3 M18. In fact, they feel very familiar. They feel almost identical. 
And so it's not necessarily going to be a giant leap forward in my opinion on these tools. Now I could be proven wrong when we get to the testing. The M18 hammer drill felt very nice and powerful. It obviously felt very powerful before. The auto stop technology is something I like to see. That is a place where Milwaukee was lagging behind. When we talk about the impact driver, Honestly, it feels like the exact same impact driver. Milwaukee had one of the top impact drivers. They made some minor improvements to it. I'm guessing that they still have one of the top impact drivers. Is it going to be everyone's favorite? No. Were people expecting a bigger improvement? My guess is yes. So now let's talk about the M12. Um, overall, the M12 I think is a great set. Um, this one is a little bit smaller, but feels very similar. I felt like the light was more noticeable on the M12 than it was on the M18. The tool of the night is very clearly to me, the M12 fuel hammer drill. This thing got noticeably smaller. It feels smaller and yet it feels more powerful. All right. So when it comes down to these two kits, I do think they are great tools. I do think that they are worth someone spending on them but especially the M18, I'm not entirely certain that they are worth the upgrade over the current gen or the previous gen three hammer drills and impact driver, because those tools were already sitting up near the top of the market. The M12, I feel like was the king of the 12 volt market for a really long time. And then DeWalt came out with their 12 volt extreme and those are great tools as well. And so it was needed to see improvements and it looks like most of the improvements have centered around the hammer drill and driver and not as much on the impact driver. Now it did get smaller. It technically got more powerful. I think it's a great tool. I'm not knocking on it. It just doesn't feel like such an improvement as compared to that hammer drill. So when it comes down to it, if you were to, were to purchase either one of these kits uh, coming from another brand or something else, I think you're going to be really happy with what you get. If you're trying to justify the upgrade from the previous generations, that's where I think the M18 falls a little short in really standing out. So that's it for tonight. We are going to get into, like I said, more in-depth testing. We'll, we'll be putting both of these kits against their prior generations in an upcoming video. And then we are going to be testing them both against the rest of the competition, but then specifically against a couple of key matchups to see how they stack up and see if this is where you wanna put your money or if you're best served in another tool. All right, so that does it for this video. Um, if you like what you saw here tonight, make sure to hit that like button. If you have any questions about these tools or specifically if you wanna see them matched up against anything in the upcoming videos, go ahead and leave a comment down below and let me know what you wanna see. And then if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate the support that we've been seeing lately. We're right on the cusp of hitting a thousand subscribers, which is really awesome. And I'm actually really impressed with how fast the channel has grown. And I owe it all to you. You've been a great support on this journey of starting to put out these tool reviews. So I appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time on Tinker with Tools.